Hey, what's up guys? So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to be showing you how to create neon files that are neon ready for DTF. So we have an action that we've created that'll help convert your images to a more neon ready file when you are specifically ordering the Supreme Neon DTF transfers for your t-shirts. So this is a very cool action because it can take an image from looking basic to looking neon in just a fraction of a click. So let's get started and show you how to do this process. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do guys is log into your Supreme Screen Supply account and you're gonna scroll down to transfers. Now there are two transfers to choose from. You have your Supreme Color DTF transfers, RGB, CMYK. So notice here, we have Supreme Neon. You're gonna go ahead and click this product. We're one of the only companies that are offering Neon transfers with Neon inks. So it's very simple. We have the action file that you need here, as well as we have the instructions on how to load that into your Photoshop program. If you're watching this video, you're actually gonna learn these instructions right now. So go ahead and click on download Photoshop action file and save this anywhere. I usually just save my stuff to my desktop and then I'm good. So I'm gonna cancel this out since I've already done it, but you can save it wherever you need to. All right, you guys, now that you have your zip file, you open it up, this is what you're gonna see right here. So when you click on this one here, PS Neon Action, that is your Windows file. If you have Mac, you're gonna click on the above. So click on this one here, you're gonna notice this action file right here. All you have to do is simply highlight it, right click, click on copy, and save it to your desktop or anywhere on your PC computer. Now, once you have this file set up on your desktop, what you can do now is you can click on Window and click on Actions. Now, I have it set up right here, but for example, I could easily close that out, right? Now, I don't have it. So, if you want to shortcut it somewhere here on your uh, tool section, you just click on Windows, Actions, and what you do is grab it here and just kind of wait till you highlight it and then drop it in. Now your Actions is right here ready to go. So since I already have this installed, I'm gonna just delete it real quick so you can see what's going on. So delete the selection. So what you'll do is in this area, just click on this sandwich box here, click Load Actions. So what you're gonna do is take that file, that wherever you put it, take that file, and then simply drag and drop it. So I'm pulling this from my other screen, drag and drop it, that's done. It's in there now. So highlight it and click load. Now this folder has been created. You have fluorescent and this is the action button right here, guys. So you're gonna highlight this and you notice here what happens is you have a record and a play button. You will not need to use this button right here, the record, you're only focusing on the play button. This is your actual conversion button right here that you're gonna need. You notice when you hit fluorescent, nothing's highlighted because that's the folder. The action is all you're worried about. Now you don't need to be concerned with this. There's nothing to do here. That's just telling you exactly what it's doing to your image. Now for those that want to, say for example, uh, protect their image, maybe they don't want to convert the actual main image, put your image in your program. Now most of you might look at this and say, that already looks like it's neon, right? And for the most part, the colors are pretty popping, they're pretty vibrant, but we can take it a step further. So what we'll do here is create a duplicate. Let's create a duplicate and let's just name that copy. So now you have a copied layer. So take your original layer and just lock it. That way it, it doesn't do nothing to this layer. So we're only working with the actual copy layer now. So click on actions and now click on action one under your fluorescent folder and click the play button it now converts this image to a full-on neon image, okay? So now when we click on that copy, we can see the difference between the two. So definitely a lot more vibrant, colors are popping, definitely representative of a neon transfer. So let's go ahead and do one more example just to show how the colors uh, change. So we're gonna take this image right here. So we see here that, you know, it looks kind of neonish, right? Colors are very vibrant, they're popping, but we can take it a step further with the action. So here we see, seems like there's a little bit of saturation and dullness, but watch what the action does when we click on it. So we're gonna click on that, click on fluorescent, and this time we will not create a copy, just so we can see what happens when you actually click the action to the file that you've uh, dropped into your Photoshop program. So we're gonna click action and click play. And there you go. So you see here, the colors really popped a lot. So if, for example, we wanted to see how this was gonna look on a black shirt, let's take this box, let's go ahead and 
we'll highlight this real quick and let's just move this to the back. So this would be representative of kind of a black shirt. When we take this layer, you know, we see here the difference between the two, but let's go back a step. Okay, so we took it back a step. And once again, we're gonna see this time by making the copy, we can see the difference between the two. Copy, and we are gonna hit the action on this image here. So let's click action. Fluorescent is already highlighted. Action one and play. So we see here, boom, that is done. So you see the difference between the two. Way more representative of brighter, more neon-like colors. You see these greens here. They look very dull. We see by clicking on the action, they're way brighter, way more representative of the brightest versions of those colors that they can be. So cool stuff. So go ahead and mess with this action if you're interested in neon colors. This will make it very simple for you to know exactly what to do to be able to convert your images to neon. And as well, you know, by making a, a simple rectangle and putting it in the background, this rectangle can represent your shirt color. Click on the box shape and click on the fill and you can change the colors to be more representative of maybe a shirt that you might be thinking of doing to represent what you might want to do when it comes to this particular design. So hopefully this action will help you guys be more encouraged to create neon designs and not have to worry about what colors do you need to use for neon. This helps by letting you use any colors you want and then use the action and it'll convert it to a neon format really quick. We're going to do one more. We're going to throw this one in here and we see once again when we click the action, action one, we see here these colors just pop just a little bit more. Four after so more vibrancy more neon effects that you can use with supreme neon so get to ordering those neon transfers guys we made it very easy for you and again we're the only company that we know of that's offering neon transfers so get creative and have fun with it also for those that are watching this video if you're interested in understanding how to size your images to have them ready to upload on our website feel free to watch this video right here so until then my name is james you guys have yourself a great day and we'll see you on the next video